Jim, 1-1 one, one at home to Darkin today. Just give us your assessment of the game overall. I think I'm surprised we haven't won the game, Greg. Um, we had a multitude of chances as the game went on. Um, I think Dorkin came here to fight and, and, and try and give the travelling fans the best effort they could. Uh, I think we were able to start opening them up in the first half. Um, they were sitting you know, in a, in, a, in a mid and low block at times, which is, um, obviously comes with the territory sometimes at home now. Teams are giving us respect and we have to go and try and take our time to break them down. Um, credit to them for, for you know, hanging in there. But I think as the game wore on, Greg, our chances just got better and better in the game. And it's, yeah, the, by the, the last period of the game, it was almost a very good chance with every single attack. So it became a bit remarkable that we, we didn't actually win the game. The, the, some of the chances we've missed, I was I was really surprised at. But um, it, it's football. Ultimately, you have to get the ball in the goal. It's not just how many times you can get it close to the goal or into the end zone. It, it's football. And you have to do the, the, the very final bit. On other days, we've done the final bit very well. And today, for whatever reason, we just didn't manage to convert what, when we look back, will look like unreal opportunistic moments. Um, and our profligacy on the day uh, just meant that we only drew the game that we, we could have been out of sight in, really, Greg. I think everyone in the, in the ground saw that, including their staff, to be fair to them. And all last week you said you, you wanted these last three games, you wanted your team to play how our style, the way you want them to play. Other than finishing off those chances, were you pleased in that regard? Yeah, totally. And the scoreline isn't uh, the ultimate indication of how games go or, or how a team's doing and today the scoreline didn't reflect the performance at all uh, because we completely controlled and dominated once we got into our stride really and even going a goal down against the run of play we, we continue to to play our way and yeah no one can say we didn't create uh, ample moments to go and win that game um, our forwards and our front guys have probably got sore heads um, today and maybe over the weekend when they look back at the moments um, but they were there they were there they were they were making chances getting on the end of chances and just they weren't converting them but that's we've been far better than that on other days and we'll be far better than that again when we get those moments um, so yeah we just have to accept it was a draw even though we feel um, we really could and should have won the game comfortably um, I guess some credit as well for um, the goalkeeper at the other end, Jacob Chapman, when you know he was called upon, he made some good saves. Didn't he? Yeah, you have to stay alert, don't you, Greg? When you're having such dominance in a game um, and his moments um, are not so frequent, he has to stay alert. And I thought his goalkeeping like element of his game was yeah, really important because um, on the brief moments they, they created something. Uh, he, he had to be called upon to, to do his job for the team. He done that really well, I think. Um, and yeah, constantly set us up for the next attack. Um, so yeah, Jacob did well.